To positions! The helm's all yours, Commander!
Artemis of the wild land, mistress of animals. I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I mean, where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks. Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Alexios doesn't scare off the animals with his heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I don't need to pray to the gods to hit my targets. <laughs> They've been known to disguise themselves as animals. I just like to warn them I'm coming. Because I always hit my targets. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. There's a spot down here where I used to hunt as a young girl. It was hunt or starve in those days. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far we've come. Show me how to use that bow. Artemis smiles on you. Tell Artemis I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Don't make her jealous.
great idea. I'm glad you invited me. I'm glad you accepted. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love the letters. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. The hunt clears my mind, to reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'll be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. Villians have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to your people. These islands deserve peace. So do you. And what about you? When this is all done, we could always use another set of capable hands. My journey isn't over yet, but I may settle down someday. You can do many things, Mistyos, but settle down? I'm not so sure. Another challenge? Stop looking to the future to be happy when true happiness is right in front of you. You taught me that. So the pirate has one blade at my throat and one at my stomach. And he says, how do you want to die, Mistyos? Fast or slow? My gods, what did you do? He was so focused on me, he never noticed my spear in his leg. He was dead before he knew what happened. His leg? A little trick my mother taught me. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles, even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Alexios. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you. Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> and you're my favorite, Mistyos. Thaletas should know about this. He will, in time. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first...
I need to stay hidden. You don't belong. You don't no, stand you a don't. chance. Alexios, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech? Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. If I was under your command, what would you order me to do? Same thing I order my men. Bruised, bloody, or broken. Never hold back. I never hold back. I can tell. I wasn't talking about fighting. I know. And I'm tempted. But... But I sailed here for Kira. She's the one I fight for. For now. Well, if you're going to win these islands for her, you'll need more soldiers. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adrestia and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships. But I'm not making any promises about a helmet. You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Dilos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols, enough to send them scrambling. So the helmet from your pater means a lot to you? It does. He prided from his pater on the battlefield of Thermopylae. The sea is a big place. Where did your ship sink exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiadis' fort as we swam to shore. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done. Ready! 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 Ready!
You're back! I overheard fishermen telling tales of the Adrestia cutting through the sea. The Athenian navy is scrambling. Ah! Let their blood feed the sharks. Don't thank me yet. Your father's helmet is gone. I can't even remember his face anymore. That helmet was all I had left of him. But you broke the navy. That will be my vengeance. The Athenians will retaliate for what I've done. 
Unless we hit them first. If that's the plan, we attack their commanders. Athenians are sheep. Kill the shepherd, and the flock will flee. March on them, and they'll see you coming. I work better alone. I'll take care of these commanders. You're going straight for their throats. Still, leave some Athenian blood for me. I need to know where to find them. Kira's spies tracked all three of them. One guards the quarry, one's camped nearby. And the third? Him, we don't know. I want names, Taletas. This Andros commands the Athenian elite guard. Polemion is their strategist. And the last, a general named Neoclis, is missing. When the commanders are dead and more Spartans arrive, there will be plenty of blood for both of us.